chicos y chicas, I'm Ricardo Laguna and welcome back to my channel. But wait, did I hear this right? Foreclosures are banned till 2022? 40 year mortgage? Am I hearing this right? Thank you once again for sharing your valuable time to watch this YouTube video and it will mean the world if you guys hit that like button as well if you guys can share this video because by you guys doing that is going to help to get to other people so they can learn from it. And if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe as I aim to have new episodes every Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. And let's connect with all my social media. Now that we got that out of the way, and to be straightforward, what I am about to start talking about, it's a proposal as of now. The CARES Act protection is set to expire this fall. That's because the earliest someone could enter the forbearance plan was around March of 2020, allowing some people to go under forbearance up to 18 months, making it September and October give or take where most of the people are going to end their forbearance. As of right now, we have approximately 2.5 million people under forbearance. Could this cause the foreclosure issues for the United States? Let's do some simple math. If a homeowner didn't pay for 18 months and they pay $1,000 a month, they will owe $18,000. Now, the people that took that forbearance for 18 months and they have to pay it all in one payment, how many people could pay that? Just as a reminder, loan forbearance is not a loan forgiveness. All those missing payments will have to get paid back eventually. However, I have some more news, some good. On the bright side, 1.7 million people are exiting the forbearance program. Now, you guys might ask me, well, Ricardo, what exactly is forbearance? Well, to keep it simple, it's a CARES Act that allows homeowners to take a break from their mortgage payment. And from my understanding, allowing the homeowners to not pay between 6 to 18 months. Well, the CFPB, also known as the Consumer... Financial Protection Bureau are making couple proposals. Now you may ask, but Ricardo, who is the CFPB? Well, those are the people that create the laws and regulations for banks. So it helps consumers like you and I. So we can be transparent with all the options that we might have, like student loans, mortgages, credit cards. Now, CFPB recommended not to have any foreclosure star until after December 31st of 2021. So does this mean that homeowners don't need to pay any mortgages until September? Now, I feel CFPB, by pushing any foreclosure until after December 31st of 2021, it will give borrowers more time not to jump into any foreclosures. Now, the other option that has been introduced, it's modified loan options to borrowers with COVID-related hardships by not increasing borrowers' monthly payments and extending the loan terms by no more than 40 years. Wow, so we're talking about having people 40 year loan mortgages? Now keep in mind, this would only work for people that are living in their primary homes and not investment properties. Now this is awful. Oh my goodness, this is awful. Because the borrower is gonna have to pay so much more in interest rates over time, even with today's low interest rates. And the reason why I think this is awful Oh my goodness, this is awful! Because I found this article that it says most Americans move within 7 to 10 years because they buy new homes, they have to relocate to new cities, maybe because of work, etc. Now, if they do a 40-year loan, the first 15 to 20 years, most of your money is just going to go to the principal payment, meaning a very small amount of your payment is going to help reduce your loan balance. If the stats of typically most American moving within 
seven to 10 years are correct, this could mean that they will have to bring money out of their pocket once they sell their home. Since most likely their home is not gonna have any equity. To me, it sounds like a trap for homeowners that they can get stuck on. If the stats is correct about people moving out of their home within seven to 10 years, causing them not to build any equity nor any wealth. Now, on the flip side, the proposal of 40 year mortgage is good because what I feel like all they are doing is putting a band-aid. But what happens when the band-aid does not help the wound? Hmm, well, I'll have to say more problems down the road. But that's just my thoughts. I would love to hear your thoughts about it because I can be thinking the wrong way. And you guys could have better thoughts about it because I'm just going from the interpretation of the CFPB news that I am reading. Well, it looks like we won't know anything until after May 11th of 2021 because the CFPB is requesting any comments to be submitted by then to see if they need to add any changes to get it approved. Once again, guys, thank you so much for your time. And if you guys haven't hit that like button, please hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed because I am to have new episodes every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you guys have any questions, this is my email. And let's connect with all my socials. Oh yeah, and please share this video and thank you so much. By the way, if all this gets approved, the monsoon of foreclosure will never happen? I don't know. <laughs>